Scott here again with uh, UA Lawn Care. We're going to do part four of part four of the different series we've been talking about here. The subject matter is the 12 laws of social media prospecting. Okay, so law number 10 we're going to talk about it's not who you know, it's who knows you building a brand. So do they know that you're building a brand? Uh, we talked about the two faces of networking, building contacts versus building relationships. It's like the difference on Twitter between who you know versus uh, who follows you. It's the difference between who you know versus who knows you. That is what building a personal brand is all about. It's all about personal name recognition. It's about building a positive reputation that precedes you. It is about meeting people for the first time and um, them already knowing just a little bit about you. I introduced this concept to college students about 15 years ago, says the author. And it's in his book, Don't Wait Until You Graduate. One of the things I stressed to students was volunteer, be a giver, serve others, let other people experience what you do. This is rule applies in real life. It applies to social um, media prospecting. Social media is a tremendous vehicle for getting your name out, doing it in a positive fashion, building a reputation that precedes you. In essence, this is what building a personal brand is all about. So what you want to do is go out there, network with people. It's really not, it's really not who you know, but who knows you before you even let them know what you do. I mean, that's the reputation you want to have. Um, you want people to know that I'm not saying it's about being famous. It's about building a personal brand. Um, it's the difference between who you know versus who knows you. Um, number 11, be consistent. One of the expressions stated in uh, the book that we're reviewing here and others of uh, the author is that when growing your own food, don't wait until you are hungry to plant your seeds. Um, that's huge. So you reap what you sow, but if you're inconsistent in sowing your seeds, you will not have a full harvest that is uh, consistent throughout the year. It's going to be inconsistent. You're going to be hungry. You're going to have gaps in your bills. You're not going to have the constant check, paycheck that you need every month or every week or every day. If you run your business and you expect to do a thousand dollars a day in your business, you have to be out there prospecting, talking to people and getting those big dollars in. You can't be the person that's answering the phone. Um, you hire somebody to do that when you're on that level of making $1,000 a day for your business. Now, if you're making five to $20,000 a day for your business, um, or if you have a million dollar business, you're the face of the business. You're out there talking to people, getting the sale, expanding the sale, making sure people know what you do, how you do it, uh, how to get a hold of you, uh, when they need your service. Uh, when you plant your seeds, you need to water them regularly. Um, just as I said, it's uh, being consistent. You need to feed the soil to nurture the growth. What have we said here about uh, retweeting, about posting positive messages about paying it forward once a month, once a day. Uh, if you got time, do it twice a day. 
if that's your activity at work. It's about being consistent. It's about your activity. Uh, what kind of activity are you doing? Are you focused on your business or are you focused on things that aren't going to um, be productive in nourishing the growth of your business or the relationship that you're in? That That's what uh, you learn in sales. It's all about your activity. It's all about phone your pipeline. That's all you can control. It's your activity. Uh, are you at the beach watching the sunset? after a busy day or are you at a networking event making sales creating activity for the following day um doing the follow-up calls um showing people that you're there to be reliable as we in indicated in the previous section it is also the key element of success in marketing hmm. Those of those who uh, implement single shot marketing effort will most often be disappointed. Those who consistently put themselves and their message out there will see results. I know this personal experience as well, when at times I have not been consistent, uh, visible, active, engaged in activities, slow down. I do the right thing on a regular basis, it picks up. It's not rocket science. And I agree. Uh, you got to place your ad consistently on uh, Craigslist if you have a service uh, business or uh, have your SEO marketing worked out for your website, then go online market. You got to be consistent every month to have that marketing and have that ad out there. You can change the ad up, but you got to be consistent to let people know that you're there and you're in business. So, looks like we're jumping to number 12. The law, number 12. Take your time. For many of us, time is the one thing we feel we have the least. Begging, uh, let's skip part of this here. Don't be seduced by the genius the guru, or online service that promise you to turn your name uh, viral overnight. If someone promised you 10,000 Twitter followers in two days, these followers are not likely going to be interested in what you have to say. They likely will not even be real people. Be patient, be consistent, be ethical, most importantly, focus on helping people. What goes around comes around in due time. Uh, so the 12 laws, here it is. Let's take a look at the 12 laws in a single list. Law number one, be a giver. Law number two, your network is sacred. Law number three, be reciprocant. Uh, law number four, pay it forward once a day. Law number five, Give credit where credit is due. Law number six, speak kindly with sincerity or don't speak at all. Law number seven, connect online is not an end. It's a means. Law number eight, not everyone online is online. Law number nine, post as, post as though your mother will see it your boss, your neighbor, and so on. She probably will. They probably will. Law number 10. It's not who you know. It's who knows you. It's the idea of building a personal brand. Law number 11. Be consistent. And law number 12. Always take your time. Um... Read the list thoroughly, give it some thought. Every single one of them can be applied to building a relationship outside the realm of social media. Indeed, these are fundamental ethics, ethics of success in building um, human relationships.
So when you have an opportunity to look this up, it's called the 12 Laws of Social Media Prospecting. Uh, it's uh, a book called uh, Prospect and Flourish, How to Conquer the Weakest Link in the Sales Process. Um, it's also a guide for sales professionals and job seekers. It's the fourth edition. His first name is Keith. His middle initial is F. To spell his last name is L-U-S-C-H-E-R. Look him up on Amazon. I'll put a link in the um, description down below and uh, check him out. And if you like the video, give us the big thumbs up. Subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel. Uh, share it with friends and family. Um, share it with uh, as many people as you can. Uh, follow us on Instagram, uh, Twitter, YouTube. Uh, let's get up to 100 uh, subscribers by the end of this year. And uh, thanks again. And if you have any comments, leave them down below. Thanks again.